Welcome, good people. And I say good people because my mother always told me to speak things into existence. It's your favorite therapist, favorite therapist, Dr. Roy Mitchell, also known as Doc Mitch. And I want to welcome you to my new show, 90% Mental, where we explore psychological topics and apply them to men's mental health. Why? Because we got to talk about it. As men, we have families that depend on us, hustles to maintain, and communities that need us. However, there's no one pop in the hood to see if our engines are running at optimal speed. So it's me, your mental health mechanic. As a clinician, I know a little something about attention span. So I don't want to bore you. I want to keep you interested. So I'll be bringing you about five to 10 minutes of content. Some weeks I'll probably bring in someone that has a little bit more expertise than myself to kind of drive home some points that I want to make to you guys. Um, if you have any suggestions or topics that you'd like to discuss, Yo, please like, subscribe, and post in the comment. So let's dive in. Today's topic is me, your boy, Doc Mitch. I want you guys to understand who I am and where I come from, right? As you can see, um, I'm not the most conventional psychologist that you're going to come across. That's on purpose. I don't want to be the most conventional psychologist. I want to be me. I want to bring you me live, direct, right into your living room. All right. Sometimes you might catch me in a, you know, Adidas jumpsuit. Sometimes you might find me in a nice little suit, you know. However, I want to make sure that I'm being my most authentic self. So a little bit about me. Um, I'm born and raised in Chicago, Illinois, Inglewood to be exact. Um, I left Chicago um, after high school, joined the military, um, the United States Army. I say who? If you know, you know. Um, I did 20 years in the United States Army. And then after uh, that career, I want to continue a path of helping people. So I got into the helping profession because um, it's something I really enjoy. I really enjoy being of service. And so psychology was calling my name. When I got into the field of psychology, I realized that I had a passion for testing and I had a passion for brain behavior relationships. Um, moving forward, I started realizing that I had a passion to help people who are what I like to call the underdogs. Um, you know, people who um, have a hard time in society. Um, and so that's the majority of uh, the people that I encounter. And so I enjoy that work because I come from that environment growing up in the city of Chicago. And so um, it kind of helped me fuel my passion and fuel my love for psychology. Um, and it's the reason that I do this job. So I'm very genuine. I'm very um, passionate about my work. I'm very passionate about what I put out. And so that is something that you can't expect from me. Um, it, it's the passion, the love for the job, and the love for helping people. As far as the populations that I've worked with, I've worked with at-risk youth. Um, absolutely love that population. Again, I come from poverty, right? I come from um, the south side of Chicago, a very tough place to grow up in. Um, I know what it's like to grow up as a youth and not have any answers, uh, not understand who you are, following trends, following the wrong people. Um, and so working with this population is one of the greatest things that I've ever done and will continue to do. Um, I think it's important for us, especially like some of the older cats, to give back um, and donate our time. And some of these dudes out here, man, they just need our time. They need our patience. And, um, and so that's something that I really enjoy doing. Um, another population that I work with currently um, and that I enjoy working with is the inmate population. Again, I got a soft spot for the underdog, right? Um, a, a lot of uh, our incarcerated people are people who society has thrown away, has given up on, sometimes rightfully so. Um, but there are a few that want to change. There are a few that are uh, very remorseful for the things that they've done. And again, as a psychologist, uh, it's my job to kind of bring out that, that passion and that, and that emotion um, to change. The next population that I've worked with um, and that I ultimately love and ultimately want to work with for the rest of my life of course, is my veteran population. You know what I'm saying? I'm a veteran, uh, did 20 years in service, man, a person. And so working with vets has been one of the best things I've ever done. Um, I'm going to continue to do. Um, and, you know, salute to all my veterans, man. You know, um, you know, United States Army, I'm who cool all day, you know. Um, got love for the Air Force. Uh, you know, Coast Guard, Navy, Marines, eh, you know, I think they're all the same branch. Tell me if I'm wrong. Might be a little shade there, but anywho, um, we all we all serve the same purpose, man. We all in the same fight. 
uh, just a little banter. I really like to, we really enjoy doing that with each other, but I, I enjoy all veterans, man. And um, so that's, that's the work that I plan to do, um, continue to do, um, along with dishing out material to you guys, man. So, so just to give you a little information about where I tend to take this uh, channel is, um, you know, I want to provide uh, some topics that I think men struggle with. Um, I know as men, uh, we put up this this shield, this wall, whatever you want to call it, you know, this bravado, uh, because that's what society wants us to be. Society wants us to be tough. They want us to, you know, drive on regardless of what the circumstances are. You know, they want us to tuck our tears, make sure that, you know, no matter what, we persevere, we push through, but they don't tell us how to push through. They don't tell us how to persevere, you know? Um, and so we fail to seek help. We fail to acknowledge that we even have a problem because that would be considered weakness. You know, um, we also uh, feel as though, you know, our problems are our problems. Um, you know, talking outside of your home or talking outside of your household is something that we choose not to do because it shows weakness. Um, and I'm here to tell you that's totally opposite of what psychology is and, and what mental health is. I'm not here to deliver mental health services. My job here is to bring up topics that I think really affect us or strongly affect us as men so that we can go out and be better husbands, that we can go out and be better community leaders, we can go out and be better professionals, we can go out and be better employees, we can go out and be better human beings. Um, because the time is now. You know, I think masculine psychology is in it, and I want to be the guy leading that front. Um, and so that's why I believe this show is important. That's why I'd like to keep this channel alive and I'd like to get as many followers as possible because, you know, we have to get better every day. And if, if we turn a blind eye to what we're going through, it's only going to make matters worse. And maybe hearing it from someone else like myself or maybe one of the experts that I might bring on to my show, maybe that might be helpful uh, for you to, you know, resolve an issue that you may have. And so that's what this show is ultimately about. It's about helping folks, man. It's just about spreading good information and hoping that it lands somewhere. So on that note, look, I want to thank you guys for giving this channel a chance, man. I ask that you continue to support, like, subscribe, comment, let me know how I'm doing. Let me know what you want to hear about. Let me know if there's topics that you'd like me to talk about, discuss, or research. Um, and I'm open for it. You know, at the end of the day, I'm here to stay, and I'm hoping you are too. So, before I wrap up, I always want to end with a quote of the week. So, this quote today comes from Eric Erickson. The more you know yourself, the more patience you have for what you see in others. Let that sink in. Signing off, Doc Mitch.